I'm a parent, which I think is the most important way that I can look at the work, the decisions that I make, the programs that we implement. I'm always thinking about other people's children, but I'm also thinking about my children and what's best for them. I could have done a lot of other things I chose to teach because I love kids. Social emotional learning is essential. It's the tools that kids need to be resilient, to be problem solvers, to be these deliberate thinkers that we want them to be, to be good people. You gotta be able to work collaboratively, you have to make good decisions, you have to understand your surroundings and have an awareness of yourself and others. It's really a set of competencies that help you manage relationships and solve problems. I would argue that social emotional learning is absolutely essential to getting to the rigor of content that those who would say we should focus on reading and math really want us to get to. We have Tesla, Panasonic, we have all these organizations. We work with them and say, what are the skill sets you think our students should have as they exit? And while they talk about the academics, they also talk about these other essential qualities they need in an individual, and those lend itself to the work that we're doing around SEL. Over the last five years, our expulsions have been cut in half. We were suspending about 13,000 days of out-of-school suspension. We were 10 times the average for any school district in Ohio. And within that first year alone, we were able to reduce our out-of-school suspensions by 55%. When we started this work, we had a graduation rate of 62%. Last year, we put up a record-breaking 84%. We would not be able to talk about the successes that we've made as a district if we had not both solved for some of the academic challenges as well as some of the social challenges that our students face. Relationships are the entry point to learning. So you really have to create those conditions for kids to feel connected to you as the teacher or any adult that's there as well as other children. It can't just be about academics. If students don't feel safe, they're not going to be able to access the curriculum that we're putting in front of them. Every child needs to have somebody that they connect with. They have to have a partner within that school. And so at every level, the intentionality to really focus on how you're getting all those relationships to be in alignment, it's so important to create fertile soil for students to thrive and to be able to learn. We have a huge challenge in restoring public trust. And I think the work that we're doing around social emotional learning is getting at that. It is meaningful, it is powerful. When you can look at students saying, well, there's a reason why I need to be in school instead of ditching class. There's a reason why I need to be able to talk about how I feel or how I engage. And that's where we're looking at diving deeply into social emotional learning. And Castle is gonna be a huge part of our success in the coming years.